right, guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, I had a taste for some ribs on Sunday, and I didn't want them barbecued or anything, so I was like, I didn't have me some nice fried ribs in a while. So we're going to jump into this video, and I'm going to show you exactly how I get these done. Alrighty guys, so for this recipe right here, I got me one slab of ribs right here. This is a St. Louis style that I caught on sale. So I went on ahead and I grabbed that. And I'm going to be seasoning it with some seasoning salt, onion powder, black pepper. Then I'm going to make my egg batter with those same seasonings, some egg, and uh, some hot sauce, and a little bit of water. Okay, guys, so first things first, I got my meat all cleaned up here, and I'm just going to go ahead and season that up. You guys know I keep it simple with my seasonings, just a little black pepper. Then I'm going to come and add a little onion powder. All right, then I'm going to add me just a little bit of the seasoning salt to it. You don't have to add much. I don't think pork needs uh too much seasoning on it especially anything sodium based so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this seasoning salt and then i'm gonna go ahead and get those turned over and season the top side up all right so once i get that top side nice and seasoned then i'm gonna go ahead and get these ready to go inside of my ziploc bag All right, so I got my ribs all seasoned up. Now I'm going to get these out of this pan. Put them down inside of my Ziploc bag here. This was a gallon size Ziploc bag. I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these ribs inside of here. All right, then what I'm going to do now is inside of the same pan, I'm going to make my egg batter for this. I'm going to use two eggs. And then I'm just going to season it with the same seasonings that I use on the ribs. A little onion powder. And a little seasoning salt. All right, then I'm going to add some black pepper to it. Then I'm going to add me a little hot sauce to it also. That hot sauce is going to add a little bit more flavor to it. And then because I don't want this to be such a heavy batter, I'm going to thin it out with just a little bit of water. Maybe just a couple tablespoons of water. Just give that a good mix. And that's going to be my batter for this. That's going to give me a nice crispy crunch to my ribs this is the same batter that i use on my chicken and my pork chop also guys all right so i'll just dump that inside of here and i was going to end up cooking this on sunday i did this saturday night i was going to cook this for football sunday but something happened and i had a change of plans and i did not cook this until monday so this sat in the refrigerator, guys, for like a day and a half, and the flavor in this thing was absolutely crazy. <laughs> so we just kind of moved that around, and then I put it in the refrigerator and just let it marinate like that until I was ready to cook it. Okay, guys, so I got this out of the refrigerator in time to let it come up to room temperature. You don't want to fry this while it's cold. Just bring it up to room temperature for about 30 minutes or so. And then I'm just going to get four pieces of this down inside of my flour. That's just regular all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to give that a nice good shake. Make sure I get that all nice and coated with this flour. And I had eight pieces of this. And I'm only going to fry four of them at a time because... I don't want to crowd my uh, fryer. 
So what I'm going to do now is just get these out of this pan and I'm going to put it on my wire rack over here. And just let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and what's going to happen is that uh, egg batter is going to absorb that flour. And that's going to give you a nice crispy crunch to this. All right, so I go ahead and get all of these dredged inside flour onto my wire rack. And this is all of them right here. And like I said, I let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes or so while my fryer was coming up to temperature. And this is how they should look after you let them sit for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead now and get these dropped in. And my oil could have been a little bit harder, guys. And I thought that there's a light. There's a light that turns to red. I mean green once it's ready. But I have this big uh, light in my face. And I just couldn't see if that light was green or red or what. And I just dropped it. But in any case, it's not going to harm anything because this fryer does come up a temp pretty quick so within about another two or three minutes it was where I needed it to be so I'll just get this last piece in and then I'll come back and show you guys look at how that just dropped in my clumsy self all right guys so this is how my ribs are looking now after I finally got my oil up the temp you can see it's already starting to get a nice little golden brown color on it it's been frying now for maybe about five or six minutes or so so i'm going to put that back in and let it go for maybe another 10 minutes and these should be done okay guys so i let these fry for maybe another seven or eight minutes or so you can see that these are nice and golden brown but these are definitely not where i want them to be just yet they can have just a little bit more color on them so I just drop them back down in there and I let them go for five more minutes and after another five minutes you can see they're starting to float that's exactly what you want so these are ready to come out and I just put them on my wire rack here getting grease all over the place because I didn't have it on a pan but nonetheless these were ready to come out nice beautiful color so i just got those out got my second batch in and then once i got that second batch in i let those cook and got those out and this dish was done the only thing left to do is plate it up take my thumbnails and my videos and then I'm going to give this a taste test. Nice deep fried pork ribs. All right, all right, guys. I'm going to give this a quick taste test here. This is my fried pork ribs. We're going to give this thing a try. I'm going to break out that hot sauce. Got to break out that hot sauce. Mm hmm I know these things are still hot too. Got that. Nice crispy. Crunchy. Yep, still hot. Definitely still hot. Alright. Mmm. 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 Still hot. <laughs> So flavorful. Mm. Nice and crunchy, but still nice and juicy. Look at that. You see the juice in it. Mm, mm, mm. One more bite. This thing is hot. Mm. Alrighty, 
on. I'm about to go ahead and get into these. Alrighty, guys, these things were absolutely wonderful. I sat in that marinade for a day and a half, and it was just flavorful down to the bone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. My TikTok is growing really fast, so I'm pleased with that. But guys, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget the hashtag. Pray for love and peace.